Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you my January favorites for the month. These are the beauty products that I have been really drawn to and really have appreciated this past month. And I figured I'd share with you. I don't have too many. I don't have like one of every category like some YouTubers do. I just kind of went through my stash real quick and sh want to share with you guys the things that I really loved. So I will start with fragrance. I have really been loving the Viva La Juicy La Fleur. And I have a, a big version and I also have a rollerball that I have been using a lot this past month. And this one also on the rollerball has the original Viva La Juicy, but the La Fleur one has more of a floral scent to it. And I've definitely been using this as my go-to fragrance for the month of January. I've really been enjoying it. It just smells so good. This is really amazing. I love it. For lotion, you guys, if you don't already know, you know now, is the Body Shop Body Butters. I am obsessed, obsessed with these body butters. They're perfect for my arms, legs, belly, everything like that. The mango scent is my favorite and I completely used this one up for February, I guess I'm counting it as because I already filmed my January empties. But yeah, I have a backup of the mango. I just bought the strawberry one as well. And with my Ulta 20% off coupon, you bet I'm going to buy some more of these. They are amazing, absorb nicely, the smell is good, but not too artificial. It is just a great body lotion. And then the next thing is a hair product. This is from Style Sexy Hair. This is the 450 degree protect seven shine for hold and this is a heat protectant for your hair I use it when my hair is wet I use it when my hair is dry and it does a fantastic job at speeding up the hair drying process and helping with the little frizzies or heat damage so I really recommend this I notice my hair takes longer to blow dry when I don't use this so yeah I love this I just also bought because I'm almost done with this probably like down to the end, probably will be used up in February. I just purchased the Kenra blow dry spray, so I remember using that and liking the scent of it at my hair dryers or my hairdressers in Charlotte, but since I moved there, I haven't smelt it in a while or whatever, but I'm going to try that out, but I love this one. It's just not cruelty free, but it is amazing. I love the product. Then I have a lip product that I've been loving. This is the R. L. Linden and Co. La Bomba Rosa. And this is just kind of a clear lip balm. It might have some color just due to my lipstick and stuff like that. But I wear this day and night pretty consistently through January. Really, really love this stuff. It's not super hydrating and moisturizing, but it's just enough for me to have for a lip balm. I like it more than the EOS lip balms. So I have really been gravitating towards this. This is um, made in the USA. It is cruelty free, vegan, and has really natural ingredients in it. So I definitely recommend you guys check this out if you're in need of a lip balm. The next thing is an eyeliner. Wearing it today, we'll always be wearing it for a liquid eyeliner. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black, and this is my all-time favorite liquid eyeliner. I used to love the Steel Estate All Day Liquid Liner for a long time, but I found out that it had parabens in it, so I tried out this liner from Ulta. I'm obsessed with it, love it so much. It makes a gorgeous line. The tip is fine point. I am definitely running low on this one, but I do have a backup of it in my stash and it's just a fantastic eyeliner. It's amazing, love it. And then the last product I have to share with you guys is a highlighter. This is from Too Faced. This is the Candlelight Glow Highlighter in Rosy Glow. And you can see it's kind of like a duo shadow kind of pan. There's a wider shade, then there's the pinkier shade. I kind of use my brush and mix it together and apply it to my highlight spots around my face there. And I just love the glow of this, the skin effect that it has on. Does that make sense? The effect it has on my skin is just gorgeous. It's not too dark for me. I was re really trying to use the Becca Opal highlighter this month, but that was a little bit too dark. This is just gorgeous, and if I find it's too pinky for me one day, I will put more of the white shade on, but I've really been loving just swirling my brush and getting it on as my highlighter. I have had it on probably all day today. I put on my makeup around 7 a.m., and it's probably like 4 o'clock now, so my makeup is still pretty much not too bad. It's definitely wearing away a little bit, but not too bad. I'm wearing the next 
liner and the Too Faced highlighter. Those were the beauty products that I have been loving this month. Let me know if you've tried any of these products out, have any recommendations for me, and what your January favorites are as well. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!